Hello, this is Fabien Castin, and today I'm releasing a new update for Photographer, which adds a new feature called Master Camera. Now, in the panel, you will find in the View tab that you have a Photographer panel, and uh, here you can see that you have the list of the cameras that are present in the scene. You can mm -hmm. click on them to switch between them. I've made it very different on purpose in terms of exposure and uh, color management. And the reason why is that I want to showcase this new master camera. So if I click on master camera, here you can see that you have buttons, play buttons next to the cameras. And if I press, then it will just go into that camera. It will try to match all the settings of this camera. So the, the focal length, the focus distance, and also the photographer uh, exposure and white balancing. So I can just swap between the cameras and it would do like a cool presentation, which I think would be really nice to showcase uh, your objects in EV, for instance. You can also change the transition speed. So if I put it to three, for instance, it's going to be faster and snappier. What you can also do is that if you right click, you can assign shortcuts. So you could go in Blender full screen and you can let people just press one, two, three, four to switch between the cameras, for instance. One thing that I can mention is that if you go into like very close in EV, you're going to get very bad performance. Um, the reason for that is that the depth of field uh, is very expensive to render when it's big. So just a little trick if you have this issue, because sometimes the camera might uh, go through an object, like an object might be in a path between two cameras. So when it does that, it's going to slow down your machine quite a lot. So what you can do is in the rendering tab here, you have the depth of field, max size. Uh, you can definitely lower it. Um, like 20 might be like, it's going to be the maximum blur that you can get, but that might cover all your depth of field needs. It can always go a bit higher. I think 100 is definitely uh, heavy for most video cards. Um, so yeah, that was just a small trick. You can also use the AFC while using the master camera. So you don't have to blend between the different focus distance of each camera. You can just let it automatically autofocus in the center of the screen. So if you press AFC and you change cameras, it will just update. Um, the AFC interval is also an important value here because the default 0 0.6 might be a bit too slow. So you maybe want to lower it so it's uh, real time. You can find the add-on on Gumroad. Uh, the link is in the description below. I wish you happy rendering and see you soon.